Hello guys, in this episode we are going to figure out what is really the fastest, manual or automatic. Okay, so this is the car, it's my E36 325. As I said, it's automatic, but uh, soon manual. The problem is that when you start from 0 to 60, it's or 0 to 100, the problem is that you can't rev it any. You just need to take the gas to the floor. When I got manual, you can rev it up and then dump the clutch and that makes it go a lot faster. For now, we just have this automatic gearbox. So um, yeah, we're gonna try now, see how fast it is. My speedo goes in miles, so we're gonna reach the 60 miles per hour right there. Is it really faster or does it just feel faster? So now we're gonna do a few pulls and figure out how fast it is from zero to 60 and do the same when I swap it to manual. So let's see. We're gonna try to brake and gas at the same time to get the best possible start. Are you guys ready? Are, are you guys ready? It's not that exciting. It's an automatic, so it's not that exciting. But anyways, let's try. Engine is warm. It's actually a little bit too warm, but uh, yeah, anyways, it's okay. Let's try braking, gassing, and three, two, one, go! That wasn't fast at all, but uh, anyways, let's take one more try. It actually launches quite good. There! Okay, as you saw, that was not so fast, but uh, we're gonna compare the times. Now I will. Uh, we will look at the footage where we try with the manual and then we'll compare the times to see how fast it really is. So now let's skip to the part where I have actually converted this car into a manual. It's another day and a few weeks later actually, but now my car is swapped into manual. So now we can actually see if the car is any faster than the automatic was. It's a manual and I love it. I have also fit a new steering wheel and I have, I also have new plates and I got some new black stickers right there and a new plate holder as well. So yeah, I'm really happy about the car and uh, now I'm really excited to see how much faster this car really is or if it's faster at all okay so the uh, runs with the automatic a few weeks ago that was 10.6 seconds and 10.7 or uh, around that so uh, above 10 and i looked online uh, a 325 cabriolet is supposed to do 0 to 100 in 8.6 seconds i think that is the same as the e34 525 i had earlier but i don't know uh, but it says that the sedan is supposed to do it in like 7.6 or 7.8 or something so but this is a cabrio of course i have lost some weight uh, because of the automatic transmission weighed a lot so now it's a lot lighter not a light a lot but maybe uh, 40 kilos lighter or something so uh yeah i'm really excited i think it will be faster but I hope I can beat the 8.6 second mark that uh, it says on uh, Wikipedia or Google or whatever. But uh, yeah, let's jump right into it and see how fast this car really is. I do not think I can film with the one hand this time because now it's a manual so I have to gear change as well. But uh, we got a few GoPros so uh, yeah, let's check out how fast this car really is.
so as you can see the manual is a lot faster than the automatic one we actually did like 7.8 7.6 or something like that so that's the same time as a 325 sedan actually compared to like 8.6 like the convertible should have been doing so actually it did a little bit better so that's how you can see the manual pulls a lot better and harder because you can launch it a lot better and you can shift faster and yeah these old transmissions are not as good ones as like new like 2018 cars those shift really fast but um i don't like manual i like old cars so uh, yeah i really hope you liked this episode and uh, leave a like if you did like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't joined the family already and i will see you in the next episode